More on the mystery of uh, Malaysia Flight 370 coming up. And first to the White House, where President Obama is now spotlighting the wage gap between men and women. Uh, Republican critics accusing him of politicizing the entire issue, uh, politicizing women, not helping them. CNN's Athena Jones reports. America should be a level playing field. In a move he says will help the economy, President Obama signed two executive actions to promote equal pay for men and women. Women make up about half of our workforce. And they're increasingly the breadwinners for a whole lot of families out there. So when they make less money, it means less money for gas, less money for groceries, less money for child care, less money for college tuition. An executive order bans government contractors from targeting workers who talk about their salaries. A presidential memorandum requires them to report on workers' pay by race and gender to help identify cases of discrimination. But both moves still leave a lot of women out. He's leading by example, but at the same time today, he called on Congress to pass a piece of legislation that has been sitting up on the Hill for years called Paycheck Fairness. It would do the same thing as the executive order would do, except it would apply to all employers around the country. And while the president often says women make 77 cents for every dollar a man earns, even his own Labor Department puts that number higher, at 81 cents. And the conservative American Enterprise Institute shows the White House has its own wage gap, with female staffers making 88 cents for every dollar the men make. Some opponents say all these figures are exaggerated. When you control for any number of very important factors, what someone majored in college, how much time they've spent out of the workforce, how much time they spend in the office each day, that that wage gap shrinks to almost nothing. The wage gap that does exist, maybe four or five cents, I think may have something to do with discrimination, but it may also have to do with women's choices. And Republicans say this is all just politics. On this equal pay day, I would urge us to stop politicizing women. And let's start focusing on those policies that are actually going to help women and everyone in this country have a better life. And of course, a lot of this is a politics. Well, if Democrats see equal pay as an issue that is good for them when it comes to appealing to women voters. And looking ahead to the midterm elections in November, Democrats are going to need women voters to win. Women came out strongly in favor for de of Democrats in 2008 and 2012, but Republicans won women in 2010. And you'll remember that was not a very good year for congressional Democrats. Well, Athena Jones at the White House. Thank you. Still ahead.